Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Omega, and welcome to the Retro Zone. Now in this episode of the Retro Zone, we'll be taking a look at Star Wars Yoda Stories, released in 1997. Star Wars Yoda Stories was developed and published by LucasArts as the second and final installment to the desktop adventure franchise. The game was originally released for the PC in 1997 and ported to the Game Boy Color in 99. Yoda Stories is set between the films Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi where Luke Skywalker is training with Master Yoda. Now this isn't a typical game where there is a central plot to follow, instead this is a sandbox game that will generate you a random objective. Now depending on the random objective depends on what world you'll be playing on. There's desert, forest or snow, and each terrain type has different scenarios, whether they be finding an item, finding and rescuing a certain person, or sabotaging the Empire. Now while you've only got the one simple main objective, you will also encounter side objectives to do as well. Star Wars Yoda Stories was received very poorly by reviewers, and a lot of the criticism is valid, but this is a game to be compared to the normal model of gaming. Yoda Stories was an attempt to replace such games as Solitaire or Free Soul, where if you got 5 minutes you would pick it up and play it. Upon first glances, this game has the ability to give an experience similar to any other early RPG game such as Zelda. However, once you start playing, you realise that was a mistake. While the graphics themselves are comparatively good pixel art, the game engine itself will struggle with them. Movement becomes a lingering pain moving one square at a time, and the tendency to walk around anything Luke will touch makes moving objects frustrating. Battling itself is also horrific, due to the limitation of the attacks Luke has compared to the hitbox around him for the enemies to hit him. And while the storyline is done fairly well, completing the objectives is a pain. You would expect with Luke being a Jedi that he would be doing something important, but this game has the play wandering around performing little errands. The game suffers from repetition very quickly. Now the game offers plenty of locations, however each one is generated from only a handful of stock locations. And the various enemies all behave the same, especially after you've played it for more than 5 minutes. Now if you are a Star Wars nerd, then this is a game you must have on your USB storage device. However, if you're not a hardcore fan of the franchise, avoid this like the plague. As always, thanks for joining me in the past, and now it's time to take you back to the present. If you would like to see more from myself or the Generations Gamers game, please click on the logos on the screen, or alternatively, go to our official websites. I can be found at omegasmash.net, and the Generation Gamers game can be found at thegenerationgamersgame.com.